Okay, you're probably wondering, why does a CCD, whoa. It's an Amber Alert. Or it's a, there's a tornado or something. Anyhow, um, you're probably wondering why uh, CDC has these regulations like the ones they're putting out why you need to have a mask on uh, it's pretty easy um, you're trying to reduce the amount of the viral load that you get um, if you get any of the virus how much of it is it going to go into your lungs because your lung surface area is equivalent to half of a tennis court if you can imagine the virus hitting a random part of that t tennis court if there's a certain amount of virus um, that comes in, how, wh where would it land on the tennis court? Would it just be a random location? Would it be a specific location? And how long would it take for it to grow? And so if you had a lot of it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow more fast than if you get a little bit of it. So the viral load actually matters. Um, also, if you've, if you've got the sickness and you cough, then it's going to go into your face mask. And that's the more obvious one to everyone. The, but the but the first but the other one what I talked about is reducing your viral load whenever you go through a cloud of that hovering uh, that hovering virus and they claim that the virus can hover in air in an air in an environment where there's not good ventilation where there's no wind um, if there is no um, if there's nothing sucking air or causing the air to move away from the uh, Air molecules move really fast. That's what determines whether something's cold or hot is how fast those molecules are moving. But the air current is what I'm talking about. The air current's going to move the, the virus. However, you know, that's that's something to discuss is that the virus is on a molecular level. Wouldn't the temperature of the air also affect um, how fast the virus is traveling? That would probably affect how it forms in clouds. So um, if it does forms in clouds, but that's the something to discuss is how far it will travel because the uh, air particles are moving really fast. That's what determines whether something's hot or cold. If something's cold, the molecules are vibrating, and they're, but they're still somewhere. Um, if the, if it, the air is hot, then the molecules are bouncing all over the place. That's the reason why a hot air balloon is more buoyant than cold air that's, that it's going through. That's, re that's what keeps it up in the air, is all those air molecules bouncing all over the place like really fast. And if the virus is on a molecular level, um, then it's going to be affected by the temperature of the room. Um, it's gonna, and it's gonna determine um, if the air currents are um, influence in it or if something even more is dispersing it but it might get dispersed really quickly even in a closed air environment um, also the if it's in an open air environment it's got wind blowing around and that's going to disperse the virus and make it less likely that you're going to get a high viral load the reason why they're in, um, talking about distance six, six feet between people is because they believe that these clouds if they're produced in the same way that uh, you know, if they're if the the temperature doesn't affect how far these clouds travel, um, then it's probably going to be within six feet, and that's the reason why they're telling people to keep six feet distant. It's because they believe, I guess, that the particles when they go out, they're going to lose momentum uh, at a certain point that they will stop moving. And then they'll start heading down, um, but it says that. It t but people claim that it'll take a, um, the particles to um, to fall about six minutes at room temperature. Maybe if it's colder, it'll probably. If it's colder, it will probably rise up because you're you're warm, um, and it's colder in the air. If it's warm. And it's hotter in the air than when it comes out of your mouth it's going to be colder it's probably going to go down faster so during the summer it probably won't spread as much as it will during the winter um i'm 
mean, well, during the winter, it's going to go up. So, um, yeah. Anyhow, that's one concern. The other, the other one I was thinking about was, let me see, what was it, what else was I thinking about? Um, I had an idea whenever I came into this video, and I, now I complete, it completely escapes me what it was I was going to talk about. Um, yeah, I'll come back to it later.